Hello and welcome to this special interview. Al Hajri Group takes immense pride in its rich and its prestigious history. In 1946, MH opened one of the first pharmacies in Kuwait, the Kuwaiti Drugstore. Since then, it's made rapid strides in the direction of development, and today it has a large portion of the Kuwaiti market with a huge consumer base. Here to tell us about this growth is Musaid Ibrahim Al Hajri, the CEO of Al Hajri Group. Thank Thank you so much for being with us today. Now, the story of MNH began back in 1946 with the opening of the Kuwaiti drugstore. Much has changed at the company since then, but what has remained the same? Uh, hello here. Well, what's remained the same, I would say, the value of the company. The value since we started, we continue with the same values. Uh, since we started with the pharmaceutical, I think we, we remain taking care of uh, people's health. So whatever, wherever we grow in any, any segment in the business, we continue to make sure that this uh, products or segments or services will not harm the human uh, health. So since then, until now, I think we are taking care of it and we remain the same with the food products, with the skincare, with the FMB, uh, any. So we refuse anything that can harm the human health regardless of the business opportunities that we may face. And we faced so many and we dropped so many we are not uh, interested in. Okay, and, and with another new year on the horizon, how do you evaluate m &H's growth story to date? What are the achievements that really stand out for you? I think we reached the level that we are diversified enough to, uh, to make the company solid and we achieve uh, to be uh, among the top three leaders in every segment, uh, continuing to, to uh, in some areas we fall the second, in some areas we are number one, and we will continue to uh, fight on all levels to uh, be there on the top. And being there, it's not easy to maintain, but I think we have a strong team to, uh, and still a strong foundation also, and solid ground to uh, achieve it. And what trends and challenges and opportunities are shaping your growth strategy for 2023 and further beyond? Maybe the challenge is since it's a small market and since I mentioned that it is, uh, if you are leading the category here and there, uh, the room to grow will be narrowing, but still there is a growth in other areas. Now, maybe the distribution channels that the traditional ones which used to be the groceries and the hypermarkets and all that and now the e-commerce is since it's in and strongly in the among the youth so since the country is a youth population and uh, most of them i think they are attached to their mobile so we are penetrating there and we are growing double digit in, the, in this category year after year uh, Alhamdulillah, I think uh, we are having a solid growth there and uh, the opportunities, I would say, is huge in terms of the uh, e-commerce, in terms of expanding uh, geographically to the neighboring countries like Saudi. Saudi, now since they are facing, uh, since they are into a big, a huge, I would say, development, the opportunities there is, is, is massive and can, uh, it's, it's opened the appetite for every investor and we are among them. And since it's nearby and the culture is almost the same, I think uh, this helped us a lot. We already started having our office in Saudi. And of course, many new opportunities arising in Saudi Arabia as we approach uh, the culmination of Vision 2030. Now, when Mohammed Nasser Al Hajri established the company back in the 1940s, it would probably have been difficult to imagine just how much the business would develop and would grow. Looking ahead, how far do you think MH can go? Well, we can go as far as we are continue of uh, dreaming and believing in our dream, and the passion behind this dream can take you anywhere. Uh, I think still the opportunities is there as we mentioned earlier, uh, either in Kuwait or in the neighboring country, if you have the right team, if you have the uh, strategy, I mean, I mean, if you have the solid strategy that can take you there, 
and you believe in it, definitely you will, it will, it will, you will achieve. How far we can go, I think nothing is far if you believe in going there. I think uh, uh, if you have the right team, there is no far. If you have the right team and the belief and the passion, definitely you will reach your goals, uh, regardless of your goals, how far it is. So I think we are a big believer on, 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 on the team especially. And because of them, we are here today. And because of them, we will be there tomorrow. And this is our investment, our main investment, I would say. And I'm proud of Plenty to be proud of. Uh, Musaid Ibrahim Al Hajri, the CEO of Al Hajri Group. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much.